Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. Brandon Johnson here. Today we're looking at Jimmy Brown the Newsboy. Jimmy Brown the Newsboy is an awesome tune. It's a very simple and accessible tune for beginners and intermediates and advanced players. I love playing this song. Uh, there's a couple good versions online. There's one of Flad Scruggs doing it from way back in the day, probably the 50s. And uh, Earl Scruggs is playing guitar. He's playing the guitar part on the song. And uh, there's another cool version of Norman Blake doing the song. And uh, that's kind of what I based this lesson on, is the Norman Blake style interpretation of Jimmy Brown and Newsboy. Uh, the song is in the key of G, but we're playing it out of the C position. So that means that we got a capo all the way up to 7, which is pretty unusual. You don't usually see capo 7, um, you know, capo 2, capo 3 maybe, sometimes capo 4, but capo 7, not very often, because it's pretty high and it's hard to sing that high. So uh, we're going to be looking at Jimmy Brown and the Newsboy. So let's check it out. All right, let's check out Jimmy Brown, the Newsboy. This song is in the key of G. We're playing it in the C position, so we're playing it capo seven, all the way up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And uh, that's pretty. That's pretty high to sing, but that's the way. That's the way it's played originally. So that's how we're going to learn it. Now, if you're looking at the tab sheet, um, I have C, the chords C, G, C, G. So that just refers to the chord shape. So, even though the song is actually in a key of G, this is a G chord. Because you're capoed up to 7, you're playing it like a, as if it's a C chord with a C shape. So that's why I put uh, the C instead of a G. Now, if you wanted to play capo 3, or capo 4, or capo 2, or, or no capo at all, uh, the, the, the shape stays the same, but uh, you're, you're just changing keys. So let's go over measure number 1. First note is a G, hammer on, two, another hammer on, open, now measure number two, we're doing another hammer on, another hammer on, back down two, and then open. Okay, let's go over measures one and two. Two a little bit faster. One more time. Now measure number three, when we go to the G shape, we're doing a pull off on the second fret. There. So measure number three starts like this. Okay, and then we go down to the G. Back up to the A string, second fret. Open D. Second fret. Hammer on. So that's a lot. Let's look at let's look at measure number three one more time. Okay, so it starts off with a hammer on on the two. To the G, two again. Hammer on the three. Back down to the two. Open D. Second fret. Play a little bit faster. Measure number three. Hammer on. Open. Open. Okay. A little bit faster. Measure number three. Measure number four. Now measure number four starts with a slide. 
That's, that's what that S is. It's a slide up. So this is the probably one of the tougher moves in in this whole lick because it's it's really hard to get the timing right here when you're sliding up to to the five. So looking at measure number four, we're starting on the second fret, D string. Okay, and then we're going we're sliding up to the fifth fret D string. So we're doing this. Okay. Now that's a four fret. If you're if you're capo two, that's a four fret. Or sorry, if you're capo seven, that's a four fret slide. Now a cool thing that happens here is is the next note you'll see is an open G. Okay, which is the same note as the five on the D string. Okay, those are the same notes. So what you're essentially doing is you're playing, you're sliding up to the five. And then you're kind of letting it ring out. You're letting the D string ring out while hitting the open G string. Right? And if you watch the scrap the, the uh, flat and scruggs version on YouTube, you'll see Earl Scruggs do a lot of different embellishments. Like he he does the slide up like four times in a row at one point. He's going. Okay, so, you know, you can mess around with that, but just for the sake of learning it, we'll just do it one time. Like that, just once. Okay, so measure number four starts like this. Okay, that's the whole measure. One more time. Back down to the two pull off, and then back down to the C. All right? So let's go over measures three and four together. Slide. 